Makes my heart race. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Sailing the Far Side with your favorite captain, Captain Natalie. We are tuning in for season three, episode 10. Okay, getting in those double digits. Let's go. Anyways, we woke up to a beautiful morning in Placencia. It's not Palencia. I know that I've been saying it that way, but you know what? I'll get it right. It's okay. Anyways, woke up to a beautiful morning surrounded by many neighbors and many boats. It was actually quite a beautiful sight to see because that meant that we were surrounded by other cruisers who could give us tips and tricks on how to survive Guatemala and the Rio Dulce. Good morning, everyone. That was like the first night so far that I have slept through the night. And look, we have locals bringing everybody around. But we have one, two, three, four, five, 17 boats, including us. Yeah, we got everyone around us. We have somewhat of a southeast wind right now, so it's wrapping around that point and causing a little bit of swell, but still not as bad as Belize City. Yeah, other than that, everything's pretty good. Making some coffee. Regular coffee. And what a beautiful morning. And then everybody sees this, a man in the shortest row possible. I don't want to see that much of your legs. Good, don't move. Terrible. Because of the long sail, we had to put our outboard up onto our stern pulpit um, to secure it, make sure that it would survive the trip. So we had to, before going to shore, put our outboard back on the dinghy. It's not that difficult to do, but it is a little bit of a process to get that thing back on. And this is how we do it. And this is how we do it. Alrighty, so we're gonna go to shore and have some breakfast, but first we have to put our dinghy outboard on. Down. I need some food, mama. All right, let's go. With much of our provisions dwindling, we decided that it would be the best to go to shore and have some breakfast to fill our hungry sailor bellies and then maybe explore the town. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. I think it'll be fine once Alright. Okay. Not fast. Fast. Just go all the way to fast. There you go. We're not struggling at all.
far side's way over there. Oh, a little puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. It's my puppy dog. Hi, how are you? This is what I'm talking about. Mmm, breakfast in this beautiful place. Mummy, nice outfit. Very tropical. Where'd you get it? Me. Natalie's closet. Natalie, nice bathing suit. Where did you get that? Uh, I don't know. Where did I get it? Mama's closet. <laughs> Mama and I traded clothes this morning. This is a bathing suit. Papa, a nice shirt. It doesn't have stains on it. Not yet, but I'm working <laughs> on it. Alrighty. Papa, how is yours? Mine is extraordinary. Extraordinary. Mama? Good stuff here. Mm, delicious. Habanero pepper Mucho sauce. bueno. Uh-oh, I put a lot of that on mine. <laughs> Mucho bueno. But we finally have some Wi-Fi here trying to figure out how to get home. It is proving to be not as easy as, um, well, I didn't think it was going to be easy, but it's proving to be more difficult than we thought. So uh, hopefully we can, I can figure out how to get home and uh, hopefully I can finish this trip. But if not, then we will show you the Rio Dulce on our way back out. Or when I come and visit on, check on the boat and make sure everything is uh, going well, you know? So anyways, gonna enjoy my breakfast. This really is beautiful. Hey look, there's a, there's a bridge. Tree bridge. Beautiful. Yeah, you don't need shoes. Nobody's wearing shoes here. This is my kind of place. Do, 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 do. My kind of place where I don't have to wear shoes. Oh! Not any shoes, Mommy. No. No. You're right. This sand is hot. Yeah. All right, I need shoes. Too hot for my feet. If there weren't hot sand, I could do it. But there's hot sand, I can't. We made it. It is hot, y'all. It is hot. Ooh. After breakfast, we walked around a little bit and explored the town, and I explored a little bit too much one of the shops because mama and papa left me in the dust. I lost them. Luckily, Placencia has service for us, so I was able to track them down and found them at the beach. So I was finally able to go swimming for the first time. I did not do it off the boat yet, but don't worry, that's coming. <laughs> So, update, I lost my fan. I stopped and looked at something for too long. Then I lost them, they're gone. It's time to go water. So believe it or not, this is actually like my first time in the ocean yet. So far this trip, it's been too cold. The water was cold, it wasn't pretty enough. Woohoo! Natalie, like some more beer? Sure. All right. Cheers! To Belize! I can't believe it! Look how beautiful this is. 
We're having fun in Placencia, Belize, Yankee on a private beach. We found it. We found it. Yay! Pick a pack of pickled parrots. 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 Pick a pack of pickled You say it. I can't say it. I'm not even going to try. You already messed up. Pick a pack of pickled parrots. 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 Ah! You're the champion. You say it. Try it. Pickle pack. Pick a pack. Pick a pack of pickled parrots. Pickle. Pick a pack. Pick a pickle. Pick a pickle. Pick a pack of pickle. Pick a pack of pickled parrots. Which is crazy because I'm really good at mumbling. But apparently I can talk fast. Pick a pack of pickle pears. Ooh, langusta, langusta. Those are pretty good ones. Woo! Yummy. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's holy cow. Yeah. After a decent amount of stretching our legs, we headed back to the local bar to kind of get the inside scoop on what to do about traveling, cab rides, yada yada, what to do, what not to do. Uh, we met a great group of people who ended up helping me become less stressed about how I would get home once we got the boat to the Ram Marina, through the Rio Dulce, and complete our 850 nautical mile voyage. This is the cruiser's bar that is marked on Navionics, our favorite way to navigate. Best way to navigate, really. You can click on any anchorage or marina or restaurant and find out most of the information by just a little click of your finger. After chatting and meeting some great people, we decided it was time to head back to the boat for some dinner and a good night's rest. The next day, we would have a long day because we would be finally clearing out and Sailing to Guatemala. <laughs> and we're off again. We're off again. Ah. Bite her toe, bite her toe. everyone here with my cup of coffee cup of dough made by yours truly mama or not yours truly made by my whatever mama I haven't drank my coffee yet <laughs> can you tell <laughs> anyways project of the morning fix two sail slides Yep, it's useless, so I'm gonna get it after that now. Show you guys when I get up there. When I woke up that morning, I thought I would take care of an important project that I realized while taking down the sail in Placencia. Now, during one of our rough passages to where we are now, we lost three sail slides at the top of our sail. These are pretty important. Uh, it keeps the shape of the sail and obviously it also keeps the sail attached to the mast. We were pretty stocked though with supplies. We had a bunch of sail right supplies to fix our sail slides and our sail. We had metal reinforced sail slides. Previously the ones on there had only been plastic so they were not as strong and led to their downfall of breaking and ending up in our sail slide graveyard. <laughs> we also needed uh, wax coated thread and a thick needle. Also I had a hand protection so that I could push the needle through the sail and not stab myself, which I ended up doing anyways. I have my hoofay, my 
scissors, my protector for my hand. This is nice because last time I didn't have that to push the needle through the slide. I forgot what I was using, but it hurt. Got my sail slides, got my wax coated thread and needles. I have extra just in case. And graveyard for all the slides that broke in the past. Don't know how we're gonna get those out. Alright. Let's do this. Alright. Three of them. Three are broken. Ready to sew. All right, two down, one to go. Keep stabbing myself by accident. I look down, there's blood everywhere. Twine in But, and we're done. Here you go, thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all for now. Please stay tuned for the next episode where we clear out of Placencia and finally sail to Guatemala. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your friends' friends. Let me know how I'm doing, what you would like to see. We are dwindling down on our content from this last trip, but hopefully soon I will be able to update you guys on the far side and how she's doing how she's looking and get a little bit of content out there for you guys but if you would like to see how she is now and the current updates on the far side please check out our instagram page that's it for today guys it's your favorite captain captain natalie from sailing the far side